democratic? Are you okay to to start? Yes. If you could go ahead, sir. Thank you. Pranonda, welcome to the Merthyr Tidville County Borough Cabinet uh, Cabinet meeting on Wednesday, the 8th of November, 8th of March, sorry, 2023. Um, as you can see, we're on teams today due to the, the bad weather we have, the snowy weather we have in Merthyr Tidville this afternoon. So please note that this meeting is being recorded and may be broadcast via the authorities' internet site. The images and sound recording may also be used for training purposes within the authority. Item one, apologies for absence. I don't think we've got any. Item two, declarations of interest. Again, there, there is none. Item three on the agenda is the budget and council tax for 2023-24, medium term financial plan for 2023-24 to 26-27. To consider the report of the Chief Executive, the Deputy Leader, Councillor Andrew Barry, would like to refer to the report. Thank you, Chair. Uh, so hopefully the most uh, protracted of budget setting processes in many years, and understandably with 40 year high inflationary figures and off the back of 10 consecutive interest rate raises. This afternoon, I present the budget and council tax 2023-24 a medium term financial plan from 2023-24 to 26-27. Uh, this evening as leader, Chair, you will present uh, along with the State the Council address. Uh, from the Provisional Local Government Settlement on the 14th of December 2022 uh, to the final Local Government Settlement 28th of February 2023, which seems a lifetime ago, uh, we have realised an increase to £118,614,197 detailed at Appendix 1, page 11 of your papers. Legislation dictates that we need to set our proposed budget requirement for 2023-24 financial year by the 11th of March 2023, and the authority through this report now sets that figure at £152.654 million. Uh, detailed at Table 5 and Appendix 2. Uh, our proposed council tax increase of 4.7% uh, will realise an additional £959,000 for this authority. The figure places us below the Welsh average of 5.5%. Uh, we remain below Blaen I Gwent in second position. Uh, and the other 20 authorities continue to close the gap with higher uh, increases than ourselves. Uh, we continue to lobby, we will continue to lobby uh, Rebecca Evans, the Finance Minister of the Senate, to adjust the council tax mechanism for a fairer system. The implication of the council tax increases at the various bands has been outlined at Table 2 on four, at 4.3 on page 5. The increase of 4.7% is reflected throughout the four years of the medium term financial plan and the medium term financial plan now indicates projected deficits of 10.517 million for 23-24 and 23.341 million to 2026-27 uh, 20, at the end of the four year medium term financial plan. Uh, and is outlined in more detail at table six, page eight, uh, with the key data underpinning these figures at Appendix 3. Deliberations and consultations between members and officers have been intensive over the past uh, months with workshops, public consultations, uh, meetings of Cabinet, full council scrutiny through the Joint Order Committees, uh, the dates of which can all be found at Section 3 on Table 1, uh, page 4 of your papers. On the 27th of February 2023, Council approved revisions to the Medium Term Financial Plan. Uh, there have been a few relatively minor adjustments since then to the major budget saving proposals outlined at section five. The main proposals being obviously the 4.7 council tax increase, council tax premiums for long term empty properties and second homes, transformational program uh, and changes to the fire and rescue service pensions, all of which result in our final budget position outlined at table four. 
Uh, Chair, before taking the recommendation, I'd just like to go on record to thank all the staff of this authority, not just for this budget setting period, but for the work they've undertaken throughout the pandemic and since showing resilience and ingenuity uh, in the post pandemic period. And to all those staff, I say thank you from this administration and this executive. Uh, over the past months, trying to balance the budget, uh, we've all turmoiled as to how we find ourselves in this position. And I've concluded for clarity in my own mind, and if you indulge me, Chair, uh, we find ourselves in a social, economic, political ticking time bomb of wealth and equality. The privileged few with and too many without. A time bomb being played out through a battlefield of social inequality with the Dickensian language of food banks, soup, ki soup kitchens and warm hubs now in everyday use. Economic turmoil seen in the multiple strikes throughout what was and is the public sector. And politically, in what is predicted to be the ousting of the Tories from Welsh West Westminster, with all the indicators there for Welsh Labour government in the inequality of the council tax mechanism and the distribution of wealth to the revenue grant settlement. Warning signs are clear. Here in we are the stewards currently of change, currently in the war of inequality, and what we demonstrate here today is the best deal that we can shape for the people of Merthyr Tidbill with what we have available to us. We've had to make difficult decisions, Chair, and with this, we have a clear conscience to say we have done our best and there's nothing more we can do. Subject to the Council approval, uh, to Council approval of agenda item five at the Council meeting uh, this evening, the 8th of March, the recommendations are at 2.1, uh, 2.2 and 2.3. 2.1, um, the council tax increase of 4.7 for 23-24 uh, for the county borough council be recommended to council for approval. The budget requirement of 152.654 million for 23-24 be recommended to council for approval. And 2.3, the medium term financial plan 2023 to 2024 to 2026-27 be recommended to Council for approval. I move, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Barry. Um, Councillor Simmons, I believe you're going to second the report. I am second in the report, Chair. Thank you very much. Have we got any questions? No. Any comments? No. Just Councillor Hills. I just like to assure the people of Merthyr that everything has been done to get to this figure. The hard work of all the officers, uh, many meetings throughout the council but the, the sad thing is that we could be having a lesser council tax if only nrw would have given us a permit up in pengen v and helped us release that money which we hold in reserve up there we've been waiting out for it for four years and it's all because nrw haven't done their work so I feel aggrieved to be putting this figure up as a council tax, but I know this is the best figure that we could come to under the circumstances. And I'd like to be on record on thanking the officers for all the hard work throughout these last couple of months. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hughes. Councillor Jones. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, um, I'd like to reiterate what Councillor Barry and Councillor Hughes have said and um, offer them both my support and their comments. Um, but I also just wanted to thank and put on record my thank for every single officer here, um, whether it's HR, legal, comms, all of you. You've helped us all so much. We really needed your support in this over the last couple of months, and it's really appreciated. I know you've all gone through tough times as well, and we've put you under a lot of pressure, but we're really grateful for your support and your advice, and I just wanted to say thank you.
Thank you, Councillor Jones. Any comments from anybody else? No, Councillor Hughes, or Legsian? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, from me, you know, um, later on this evening, I'd elaborate on the work of the staff over the last year and, and the successes of the authority. But I must say, I think, you know, for my time in the council, and it's been six years, and I, but I think people who've been here a lot longer than me will tell you that this has been the hardest budget set in process that anybody's been through just because of the shift in sands, the uncertainty, the inflationary pressures, just unprecedented. So guys, thank you all. You know, we got here at the end of the day, we got here with a figure which is well below the Welsh average. And um, so the people of Myrtle Tidville, I think, and thank you all for the great work you've done. So shall we take it to the vote, please? Now, Karis, are we back on to the, yeah. the, so the old you, system? So can you remind you're us, back please? on, just press in your virtual hand. So all those in favour, please just press the virtual hand. Just Councillor Michelle Jones. Oh, I was just going to ask, has my hand gone up? Because I couldn't see her. There it is. 